Hi folks, uh, my name's Anil Karia, I'm one of the coaches at Harrow. Uh, welcome to one of our uh, Bite Sides videos uh, that we're going to cover off some basic uh, instructions and assistance to help you with your game. So today I'm going to cover off the basic grip and uh, alignment of the bat presentation towards the bowler. So the first thing is uh, trying to get the basic grip right, okay? So fundamentally, if you just put the bat, if you're right-handed, put the bat on your left leg facing you, back face facing you. Have your arms alongside each other, raise them shoulder width height, and bring the right hand down towards the back, and then followed by the left. Now as you can see, I've created two Vs. That is one of the Vs on the lower, on the right hand back, on the right hand arm, and this one's on the left. Don't get too preoccupied about the Vs down the back of the back. But just try and get a decent grip, as you can see, it's nicely spaced out uh, alongside the handle and just try a few shots with a basic grip, okay? So try the forward drive, backward punch, square cut, making sure that it feels nice and evenly balanced, that you're not struggling with the grip. One of a, a really good tip that I've been given over the time is the actual use of the top hand. Now, if I have the top hand and the back of the wrist facing me very much square on and you try and playing a stroke it actually locks the bat you don't get the flex that you would like to get in, into the shots so one of the tips is the knuckles as you can see try and have it a little bit wider than the edge here and try a shot and you'll find you get a lot more flex into the bat okay a couple of things also to add is the preferential of Say for example, uh, the forward drive. So you can have a check drive, and you can also have a full flourish, right? But the key emphasis is to make sure that we try and present the bat as straight as we can. Moving on to trying to get a nice little balanced approach facing the bowler. So if I have your feet more than shoulder width apart, Make sure you flex your knees, eyes are level. One of the tips that you can have to make sure that your eyes are level is raise your left shoulder, tuck your chin, and then drop your left shoulder. Your eyes then will be presented quite straight, I believe. Make sure the back's coming over middle and off. Eyes are level, lean forward. One of the key things about making sure, what to, when, when would you play a straight drive or a forward defense, what I consider is a great tip is if you have the extension of the bat in front of you and draw a little circle. This little circle is what I call the magic circle that within that range you should be going forward to the ball. Okay, so moving on from a nice basic grip, nice stance, make sure you're nicely balanced so you can move forward press or backward press, keeping very, very straight. So one of the tips that we can do is, when you're at home, you can do a bit of self-analysis. So here I have, is I've set up three stumps in front of me. What you could use here is uh, a, a piece of rope, uh, even a tie, and lay them across uh, in front of you. You can do this in a safe zone, make sure you're in a safe zone in the house. But I've got a decent uh, sized garden, so I can demonstrate it a lot better. So what you want to do is to make sure you can put the, 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 the actual mobile on a cradle or on a laptop in front of you or on the floor. You can have one of your parents or one of your brothers or sisters helping you record and see if you're presenting a very, very straight bat. So just to demonstrate a couple of options here, right? So if I'm playing an off drive, I'm getting close to the ball and my presentation, you can self-evaluate. Are you presenting the bat quite straight with the grip that we talked about. Nice presentation of the off drive. And you're moving on to the, a straight drive. Nice presentation. Concentrate. Try and, do, try and repeat this as often as you can. For the on drive, what you want to be doing is to shape up to play an on drive. So you would make sure you move your right leg towards you. Open up and present. Try this drill at home. See, see if you can make sure that you present the bat as 
straight as you can. One of the other tips, just to bring a little ball into play here, that may, may help you, is I just do this side on. To keep your back straight, the top hand has to do pretty much a lot of the work on the downward swing. If you use too much of the right hand, what that will force you is either to go, is close the back, or you will, you will back basically open the back. That's what I call a corkscrew. So make sure that you're using the top hand on the downward swing as much as you can. So the back, the back handle, the back right, right hand here is not holding it so tight. I call it the pencil grip. Bring the back close to the ball. And at this moment, eyes back and ball, you're tightening up to get you the extra power and you can follow through. If you, if you use too much of the right hand, as I said, you will actually drag it towards the leg side or you'll, you'll actually open up too much. You want to present the back as straight as we can. So moving on to a couple of demonstrations, what you can do here is, what I've done here is I've got cone here and I've improvised by a sock, put a ball on the sock and just try and you know try and hit a couple of shots here. Stay nice and balanced, in line, forward press, and there you go. A nice clean shot. On the offside, nice clean shot. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, short demo. By all means get in touch with us for any more questions and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.